Hi, my dear friends! A while ago, I ordered a bunch of small amps from our diligent friends from China. They're very small, approximately the size of a thumb. And people were asking me why I didn't make them myself and bought them instead. Simply put, they're cheap. One of these amps costs about 14 to 60 cents. Bought them from Banggood, I will leave a link in the description. They're compact and the output is about 3 watts on two channels. After I bought them and shot the video for the second channel, I thought it would be nice to show you how I would assemble speakers using such amplifiers. Before we start, we should think about the materials that we'll use to make the speaker boxes. Initially, I thought about plywood, but later I decided to go the simple way and use these. I think many of you have guessed that these are simple soap boxes. Next, we of course need some speakers. Ours have 3 watts and 4 ohms resistance. 3 conductor wire, USB cable, 1 mini jack and 2 conductor wire. First, we need to transfer the sizes of the speaker to the box and then cut it out. After making the holes, we put the speakers in and glue them properly from the inside using hot glue. We should make a hole for air and one hole for the wires on the back side of each box. Now we pass through the wires and solder them to the speaker. As it usually goes, we see a plus and a minus. So this wire will be the plus and this one will be the minus. Apply some flux and start soldering. As you may see, the amp has two channels, left and right. And it basically makes no difference to which channel you solder the speaker, as it will be possible to move them around. Then we solder the wires to the second speaker. We should solder a red wire to the plus of the speaker and also to the plus of the amplifier. Next, we solder the black wire to the minus of the speaker. And the second end should be soldered to the minus of the amp.
then we take the triple wire and solder it to the left channel, the mass and the right channel. Now we solder the second end to the mini jack. In conclusion, we solder the USB cable. Red wire should be soldered to the plus and the black wire to the minus. Green and white wires will not be used. Well guys, our mini USB speakers are ready! As we can see, our speakers turned out to be looking pretty cool! So, I think that time has come to test them! First, we place them on the sides, as they are stereo speakers. Connect the USB cable, then the mini jack and play! Well guys, I don't know whether you can hear me or not, because the sound here is overwhelming! They even started to move and vibrate! I'm going to turn down the volume, because it's too loud! To be honest, guys, I'm very happy with the results, but I'd like to recommend you use speakers with more than 3 watts, 5 or more, because these speakers are simply torn by the amp. Also, it will be very good if you'll find the same type of speakers, but with a rubber rim. Then I think you'll get an even better sound. But actually, it sounds pretty good, and for a very reasonable price. We spent about 15 cents on the amp, wires are cheap and easy to come by and I think the speakers we can find in any old TV set, radio or something else. Well, today's video is over. Thank you for your attention and for watching the video till the end. I'll be very happy if you'll press the thumbs up, as it helps out a lot. And write comments with what you'd like me to show next time. Have a nice day, see ya! Did you know that one of the most powerful speakers in the world has a power output of more than 11,000 watts?